You guys ready? Yeah, do it. There we go. You know, I think too, um, a lot of the things that you might think you don't want, right? You, you like look at stuff and you're like, oh, well, you know, I'll get the tent later or, get, mm -hmm. or you know, oh, I'd rather just use an RV or all these, or the camp kitchen that's kind of, you know, when I saw it first, it was like, eh, who's going to really use that? Because, you know, if you're camping, you want to set up your stove away from the, yeah, trust me, it's so well engineered that mm -hmm. we didn't actually have a meal there except for breakfast one day um, that wasn't cooked on the camp kitchen. So mm -hmm. you're talking about, you know, 50 plus people by the time you got the guests and, and the, the teammates from Rivian that were there, there was 100% cooked on two camp kitchens in their event space. And um, I think, you know, for me here in Hawaii, it's a little different what my needs are, but I got it for the mainland for, sh for sure. And uh, I think the tent itself too, you know, that's something that I probably wouldn't have gotten had I not gotten a chance to experience it first. So I think that being that ability to go touch and feel it and, and crawl up in it, yeah, that was huge. And the fact too, that the way I really look at it is now, instead of going through all the rigmarole of camping and you have to unload all your stuff, set up your tent, set up where you're cooking, set all that stuff, you literally just pull up to the site, the truck will self level, you have you, you flip up the tent and you pull out the camp kitchen and you're camping you can leave mm. all your stuff underneath the tent in the bed of the truck up and safe right uh you have the outlets right there below you to charge your phone in the night i mean it, it was just so well thought out that uh you know i i can't imagine uh not having that for the mainland mm. especially yeah. so yeah, those types so cool. of things that may seem kind of kitschy are you know when you kind of look at it you're like eh it really is kind of cool. Like you'll use it, for, yeah. you know, and that absolutely. And when they say off-road adventure vehicle, they mean it. It's built for that. Um, one thing that I was super impressed with was what RJ talked about in the uh, when they were talking about the tank turn capability and such. Um, you know, being able to do that turn and other types of turns, uh, doing it safely and doing it, it, it. You don't want to tear up a national park, for example. So being able to be a their super precise GPS, be able to turn that off um, so you're not wrecking places you shouldn't. Uh, that was really cool. But the Jurassic Park feature, I think he talked about that a bit, um, where for me, I'm always the driver. And so I was just in Yellowstone uh, in the spring and um, my friend and I are driving through and, you know, she saw the black bear and she saw the moose and all this stuff. And I'm like, wait, what? You know, cause I'm driving, <laughs> but yeah. I'd love to be able to pull in a park and just be like, boom. And then I get to just kind of cruise and watch everything and know that the truck's going to do its job. Um, and I, I do have that faith in RJ and his team that I would feel completely confident doing that. So. I've heard mm -hmm. of the Jurassic Park feature from a long time ago, but they did not say that in the round table. So maybe that was one yeah. thing that we know that they edited out a few things, but yeah. that's totally legit and cool. Um, yeah. And that is future. That's not today. It is not mm -hmm. with the launch. Edition. Right, right. So, yeah. Uh, but, you know, right. I think it shows the type of company they are, that the way they're thinking about this is, is it's not about taking the way things are done today and make electrifying it. Mm -hmm. It's changing the way we think about vehicles in general and how we integrate them yeah. more into our daily life. So, Yeah, they really have a good eye towards this direction of that we're going to have to do more than make a truck that can go from zero to 60 and three and can crawl over rocks. We're going to have to do something a, a lot different in the ownership experience and how it, how it yeah. incorporates the rest of lifestyle. They've done really, really sure. good with that for sure. Yeah, um, I've got They're a an question. impressive company. For sure. If being an hour away from normal, I get invited to the first mile event at the end of the month, they've already kind of announced this, and I get my 15 minutes on this track, what advice would you give me as far as conquering this track and what I need to try and how I need to go about it? <laughs> uh, ride with Max, if you can. Okay. Uh, okay. That, guy can that, that guy can drive. Uh, RJ Mad is Max, pretty damn yep. good too. Yeah, but mm -hmm. Mad Max is epic. Uh, and then I, I would say just don't be timid. 
Uh, mm-hmm. You know, you're you're going to spend not a small amount of money on a vehicle if you choose to buy one and you want to put it through its paces. And here's your chance. Uh, you know, you're not going to be able to do what you can in that trip anywhere else on any trip you go on. You're not going to have <laughs> a full oval race track. Uh, you know, 100 uh, percent. What is it? Yeah, I keep messing up the percentage, but 100 percent grade. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the all the uneven terrain, and then a you know almost a rally car uh, dirt course as well. I mean, in a footprint that's relatively mm-hmm. close, right? Yeah. So uh, put it through its paces. Don't be shy. You know, and trust trust the truck. Trust it more than you think you might want to, <laughs> and it it'll take care of you. Drive it like you stole it. That's what he just said. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, that's awesome. All right, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Please do subscribe. We obviously have a ton more coming. And then in the meantime, please join us over at RivianStories.com. We have a lot of great conversation happening over here. And we also have some t-shirts. We'll ship them straight from us to you very soon. Thanks. <laughs>